Hey guys, what's up? I am Tito the OG here with some hot, steamy news. We've got some new news about some Jax 2.5 inch figures. Now, typically these leak pretty soon before release, whether it's through like Target systems um, or just like online sites like Big Bad Toy Store. But just like the other 2.5 inch leaks, uh, they came from Walmart. Now these are 2.5 inch check lane leaks. Uh, I don't know if it's the same wave as the recent SBO leak, um, but we've got a very interesting addition to the cast. Now, Walmart put up these listings literally like an hour prior to recording this video of some new Jack specific 2.5 inch figures. And we have Sonic figure with a new facial expression, classic Pecky, Burlbot, and Trip. So the first thing you might notice about these listings is that they're using like random stock images and not like images of the pictures, which that it might make you question the validity of these items. But this is very common from Jax and especially Walmart. They've done this kind of thing in the past where they have used stock images of the figures before they officially updated them down the line. Uh, so, I mean, these are officially on Walmart's website. You guys can see here I'm on the website right now. There's the link and everything. You guys can enter this link and it'll take you to the website. That's if they haven't taken it down or updated it by the time you're watching this video. But yeah, these are legit links. And it's actually very cool. We're getting a trip figure right after Fang. Yeah, I was really excited. This is one I can check off of my bingo list for the year. We also don't know if she has her helmet or without the helmet. The stock image uses the helmet, but that really doesn't mean anything, especially since the classic Pecky figure just uses like official art of Pecky. Um, so we're really, we really don't know. I'm hoping, I mean, either way, I wouldn't mind. I could print like a standard head or if it's just a standard head, I could print a helmet for her. I really don't know. So only time will tell for that one. Now for this classic Sonic with a new facial expression, um, the image they use is Sonic tapping his foot from Sonic Superstars. So we might get like a, a Sonic looking at like to the side, like in this image, or it could be completely unrelated. And this is just, you know, just a placeholder image that they grabbed online when making the listing. Uh, we really don't know. And then we got Burrowbot, finally a Burrowbot single release. A lot of people didn't have him since he's from the Charmy wave and that wave is just elusive to everyone. So it's kind of cool that we're getting uh, Burrowbot released again. Maybe one day we'll get Charmy in a check lanes figure. Now there's one other thing that I wanted to talk about because uh, I've still been getting comments on my previous uh, news video about the Sonic 3 figures telling me that my rumors were fake. Yes, I know that. I literally said in the video that these are speculations and mock-up images of the, the Super Shadow and stuff like that. But since then, we've gotten official images of the wave and I wasn't too far off. I was like halfway there. I got Super Sonic right. So here's an official look at Super Sonic and he looks awesome. I really think it's a massive improvement from the Movie 2 figure. The Movie 2 figure's quills looked a little weird. His skin tone blended in with the yellow on his fur. And there were a few gripes I had with him, but this version looks amazing. Uh, and the shadow is slightly different. The main difference on him looks like he just has a, like a mad angry mouth kind of look to him, which I don't mind. It's a shadow variant. I might pick it up. I don't know yet. I mean, I pre-ordered the whole wave already cause it went up on Amazon. So he's going to be coming in. Uh, and then the tails mascot figure is interesting. Uh, he's got a whole chow head, which is uh, something. Everything else on him looks to be about the same, except that they painted the soles of his shoes black, which looks a little bit more movie accurate, which is cool. And then we have the five inch release Knuckles, which is literally the same one as the uh, Target four pack. So that is the official wave two of the movie figures. So that is pretty cool. I also saw somewhere online that the release date for it was November-ish, like late November. So if that's true, hopefully we could start seeing them show up in about a month. But that's it for this little update video, guys. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this next 2.5 inch wave down in the comment section below and what characters would you like to see them bring over to the 2.5 inch scale? Me personally, I would love a 2.5 inch chaos figure. I am Tito the OG and I will see you guys next time.